Today's gonna get even better. Look at that. If you got me something like this, wardrobe change. Jolly preset. Over 80 aquariums. Here, we're gonna get a couple of these. It fits right down in the... I got a special treat for you guys. Is it possible? Wah, 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 wah. Double, tripled, quadrupled. I'm sick and tired. Little orca whales. Uh-oh. Oh, Aloha, my ohana, it is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics in 2023 so far, I stress out so far, has been good for me in the fish hobby. Today's gonna get even better. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of looking at my saltwater tank being empty. It is done with being empty. We are going to put some life in this bad boy now. I did make a video on this saltwater tank. I pretty much lost everything and I realized what I did wrong. It was such a rookie move, but like I said, I am still new to the saltwater hobby. I have my ATO, my automatic top off right here. I lost my entire stock. Now I did have a yellow watchman goby. I had a couple clowns in here, a danzo. I mean, it was nice. This is a 10 gallon innovated marine saltwater aquarium that I got for free. Now I do have a little frag rack here that I got from my boy Poseidon's Creations. Go check him out on Instagram he actually makes custom acrylic tanks beautiful tanks one day I'm gonna pick up a custom tank from him he's based out of Florida so go check him out on Instagram okay this bad boy's got a beautiful carob sea rock actually there are two I stacked them up on top of each other and I am just excited to get this going I was a little discouraged when I lost everything but this is the reason why when I do water changes on my saltwater tank this is where I stored it's in these five gallon jugs that I get from aquarium and reptile depot saltwater are water I have it all when I do a water change I actually use this water straight from the container which is a lot colder than the aquarium that's over there so what I realized I was doing was messing with the temperature of the water saltwater fish a little bit more sensitive and then on top of that I was doing like a 50 to 60 even 75 percent water change which is an absolute no-no so it fluctuated all the parameters along with the cold water that I'm putting in here which was probably about 10 to 12 degrees colder than the actual water in the aquarium now on a 10 gallon tank like this 10 percent weekly is about here that's about 10% water change on a 10 gallon tank. I was doing my water changes like way down here because I'm so used to doing huge water changes, 75% on all of my freshwater aquariums, but like the dum-dum that I am right here, see I'm pointing at me, I, I forget, this is salt water, this is a whole new world for me, you know? So with those two dum-dum things that I did, that pretty much killed everything in this aquarium all of my parameters were great this has a ton of beneficial bacteria so a lot of you guys are saying hey it's not cycled oh no it's cycled my parameters are on point it was because of the fluctuation of the temperature and then on top of that doing a huge water change which is a no-no especially uh, with this little tank here that I have so another suggestion that I got from some of you guys was to get rid of the skimmer this skimmer here this little mini skimmer sits right back here in the all-in-one so in Instead of the skimmer, a lot of you guys were saying, hey, a small tank like that doesn't need a skimmer. So what you guys were suggesting I do is add more media. As you can see, I have a whole bag of media here. I just doubled, tripled, quadrupled the media along with my media basket. I have media there too. Now with eliminating the skimmer, adding more biomedia, which is pretty much this whole top container is full of biomedia. I have my RO system, my heater, my pump, CJ are all in here. Now, speaking of heater, I wanna show you guys something else. I got the CJ Jolly preset, two year warranty on this bad boy and check out what you can do with it. So I take my Jolly preset, I open up the top, it fits right down in the nozzle of my saltwater container so I can warm up my water before I add it to my aquarium. I know, I know, I'm still learning so you guys gotta be patient with me but I do appreciate you guys coming along on this saltwater journey with me. Um, it's so fascinating, I'm super excited to get some goodies in this you guys are going to come along with me got to give a huge shout out to cj maybe i can inspire you guys you know with these little tips and tricks especially with the heater throwing it in your container and whatnot you don't need to like mix your own salt water a lot of local fish stores have pre-made salt water and ro water for your aquarium i am super excited to get this bad boy stock so let's go to one of my favorite local fish stores aquarium and reptile depot and how we're going to get there youtube teleportation so we're going to teleport over there i'll see you guys in three 
two. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Before I say one, if you haven't subscribed, this is the perfect opportunity right now. Hit that subscribe button, and next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. Now let's teleport. One, Ooh, just like that, we are here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Isn't that YouTube teleportation thing really cool? So I'm in the saltwater section of Aquarium and Reptile Depot where they have like over 80 aquariums of saltwater creatures. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find something for my 10 gallon innovative marine saltwater aquarium. So let's take a look. Ooh, you guys know what that is? That is a gem tang. Yeah, not bad, right? Not bad. You're like, okay, whatever. Yeah, that's $700 for that beautiful fish right there. Yeah, it's kind of a holy grail for somebody when it comes to tangs, but ooh, what a beauty. One day, one day. They also have an emperor angel. That right there for angels is the boss. You always have to have one of those. That would be the tank boss. Emperor Angel, they have a beautiful selection. All right, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. I know, I gotta stay in my lane. I have a 10 gallon tank. I act like I have a 210 or something like that at home. All right, let's look for something for 10 gallon saltwater aquarium. Ooh, we can get one of these for the saltwater tank for sure. Are these, what are these, flamebacks, I think? Yeah, these are cool. Uh, for all my salty heads out there, let me know, 10 gallon tank? Uh, Bangai Cardinals, is it possible? Well, I definitely can get some of these. Maybe one or two for the 10 gallon tank. I'm not sure what type of fish this is, but is it a green chorus? I don't know, I think it is. They look cool though. You can never go wrong <laughs> with the good old Nemo. Clownfish, Ocellaris clownfish, look at them. Look at them playing around, they're so pretty. Oh, you guys remember when I videoed this aquarium, they had shark eggs? Well, there was two of them. I only see one, so I'm not sure if the other one hatched or what happened to it. But I was just kind of looking this aquarium. You know, they have some corals down in here. And then as I'm scanning, looking around, I see this dude over here in the corner. Look at him. You can't even see him. He looks like a rock, right? Totally camouflaged. Kind of blends in with the substrate. This is a crab. You know what the name of this crab is? It's called a shame face crab. Look at that face. Does he look like he is shameful? I don't know, but look at that thing. It looks cool, huh? <laughs> look at him. It's like he's giving me the finger. Look it. Hey, leave me alone. Stop videoing me. Yeah, you. Uh-huh. You're not gonna listen to me? Take that. <laughs> he's like flipping me off. <laughs> look at these clownfish. These are Aura Black Snowflake. Ocellaris clowns. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure these get a little bit too big for a 10 gallon. I'm not sure how big these get, but they look like little orca whales, right? Look at them. Oh, so cool. So pretty. Love these guys. Oh, these are totally cool. These are actually called cleaner shrimp. Oh, look at them. Just kind of cruising around. Look at this one here on the starfish. Oh, he's cleaning the starfish too, huh? This guy's like an extra cleaner here. Look at him. This guy's actually literally cleaning the starfish. And the starfish is letting him clean himself. Look at him. Look at the, the starfish literally unpeeled itself so he can actually clean underneath him. Look at that. This guy is actually giving him a massage. He's like a little masseuse. God, that's so cool. The little cleaner, huh? Cleaner shrimp cleaning starfish too. Maybe we'll get one of these guys. A cleaner shrimp would be cool. Look at him. Just going to work, going to town. Gosh, I can watch this guy all day clean this starfish. When do you ever see a, um, a cleaner shrimp clean a starfish? Normally they're on the rocks like this, cleaning the rocks and whatnot and you know, the substrate, but to literally clean the underside of a starfish, hey, you're the star. All right, so I got a special treat for you guys. I was just talking to one of the owners, Jason, and he was just telling me that he just came back from LA and made a huge purchase on a bunch of corals. So let's check out the corals that he picked up. We're gonna start with this aquarium here in my Ohana. We're gonna put on our lens so we can see the natural colors of these beautiful corals. Check them out, huh? Woo wee I have no idea what these are called, but in this section right in here, they're 199 or two for 359. I mean, torches, I don't even know what these are called. I know those. some of them are torches in the background. The ones that look like anemones, like that one right there, that's definitely a torch. I think these are torches here too as well. But they just picked up all of these corals. A lot of them they had, but they added new ones to it. So I'm actually gonna comb over this display aquarium very slow. So those of you guys that are into corals, 
can see their collection and what they bought. Look at this one here. Ooh wee. This section right in here, from here to here, from this line, is 149 a coil or two for 269. This section here, a little bit more expensive, 299 a coral, so 300 or two for 539. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Oh, look at it, it's so cool. Look at that one right there, looks like a brain, right? Look at that, look at the green in that. Okay, this is clearly a sign when you know you're starting to get deep into salt water. When you come to your local fish store and you don't even look to see what they have for fresh water. Yeah, I haven't even walked over there. I've just been in the salt water section the whole time. Uh-oh, somebody's turning into a salty head. Oh, I think I need help, Ohana. They just received a huge truckload of wood. Mopani, spider wood, driftwood, all the wood. Look at, they have a ton of wood in stock. All different sizes too, so come on down. Oh, I wanna show you guys this. Look at the way they escape this. See, you can get so creative with different types of driftwood where it's sticking out of the aquarium with this rimless aquarium. Oh, check out this piece of wood. Look at the shape on this. You guys can use this for your reptiles and or aquarium, but I like the way it kind of bows out and makes like an art, a nice little tunnel, some type of swim cave to swim through. This would actually fit in a really big tank too. So will that. That thing has gotta be like over six feet long. Look at that thing. But it's super low key, so it actually can go into a tank and you can fit in it and it's low, it's not gonna stick out. It's probably the height from the tip there to the bottom here, maybe, maybe two and a half feet, maybe. So this would be a nice piece of driftwood for a huge aquarium. Yeah, it's crazy to see how much wood they got here on the ship. Oh, check this out, thanks. My boy Jason just hooked me up, look it. The Aquarium and Reptile Depot beanie. You already know your boy's a beanie guy. So it looks like we have to do a wah, 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 wardrobe change. Ooh, just like that, we got the beanie on. Your boy is fitted, suited and booted. I think I'll do the remainder of this video with this beanie. Shout out to Jason and Jeff. Thank you guys so much for the beanie. And if you guys wanna get your Aquarium and Reptile merch, they got a new whole wardrobe right there. As soon as you walk into the store, it's immediately to your left. Pick up your merch. Check out what the boys did here. Look at, I love this. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at, they're so festive. They got the hearts. They got the heart railing here. Look what they did. They decorated this thing. Awesome. Message to wifey. If you got me something like this for Valentine's Day, I'll be yours for life. Right now, you only got me part-time. But you get me this Red Sea S1000, you got me forever. Oh man, I almost forgot. We need to get our RO water and salt water. So let me grab my jugs. I actually got four jugs to fill up. And the cool thing about Aquarium and Reptile Depot is they actually have RO water and salt water for sale. They have all of the five gallon containers that you need. These are my three. And the cool thing about these containers are, look it, it's labeled, see? Fresh water, fresh water, and this one is salt water. They make it super easy and convenient for anybody in the salt water hobby. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a couple of these. One of these, and maybe a couple of these. I'm so excited to show you guys. Stay tuned, we're gonna get home with the teleportation. It's gonna take me about 50 minutes to get home, but for you guys, three, two, one, I'll see you at the house. Whoo, just like that, we are back home, and I can't wait to show you what the saltwater aquarium looks like. Let's go take a look. Ooh, look how fancy we are with the saltwater aquarium now. Ooh, look at the life, huh? Let's start off with this right here. This is a neon green hairy mushroom coral. I actually got three of them. One there, one there, and one there at the top. Uh, to me, they look happy. I actually put them in here, they were closed. And at night they close, and then, you know, when you turn the light on, they come to life, they open up like a flower. This one here, nice flow, look at it. Beautiful, and as they get bigger, the whole goal is to have one of the clownfish here host these beautiful corals. Hosting means they'll go in them, swim in them, uh, make them their home, like their little uh, fortress, if you will. I think they need these to be a little bit bigger though, but I'm sure in time they will grow. Now this one here was up on this rock um, and it fell down. I didn't want to touch it because I just didn't want to stress them out any more than they were. So he looks happy. I just let him be. He kind of attached himself to the bottom of that rock. You can kind of see. Um, so, but let me know, my, my reef heads, let me know, please. Uh, is it okay for uh, this coral here to sit on the sand? 
that's my question to you guys but i mean hold on let me actually get rid of this blue light that way you can see the true color anyways that's what they look like you know not as uh i would say fancy when the blue light's on that's why i love putting on the blue light it just brings out uh the green in this type of coral uh but yeah we have a couple clownfish too look at them now here's a fun fact about the clownfish ohana if you guys didn't know now these clownfish here or i should say every clownfish is born a male and then when you pair them up like this one will turn into a female yeah i don't know mother nature she's a mother sometimes you know uh she's always just crazy like that so that is a cool little fun fact so what my boy jason did the owner of aquarium and reptile depot he actually gave me one that's slightly bigger than the other that will help them determine who's going to turn into the female uh this one here which is a little bit lighter i would say this one little lighter orange that one's a little bit bigger than the other one so that one will probably turn into the female that will help them anyways determine who's going to be the female and who's going to be the male the larger uh clown is usually the more dominant one which is the female like in real life right right ladies so that's what happens in the clownfish world which is so cool um yeah they're all born male then the dominant one will turn into a female which i find fascinating about the clownfish as far as these corals go they're very low maintenance uh you don't need any special parameters or anything like that as long as you're consistent on the water change which is going to be 10 percent right here okay and um, i do have my ro automatic um top off so this is ro water that's in here it automatically kicks in as soon as the water level drops because you will get water evaporation and it comes out through this hose automatically so it's going to keep my parameters super consistent um the salinity consistent too as well i turned off that wave maker there that power head because i didn't want these falling off the rock i wanted them to attach and it looks like they've attached pretty good but i will wait a couple more days uh, before I fire up that power head because I don't want them to fall off the rock and it kind of looks cool There's one up high one medium and then one down um, Below I didn't get any feeder shrimp. I need to get some feeder shrimp for this um, Not feeder shrimp cleaner shrimp. I should say feeder cleaner shrimp uh, So I got a little excited and overwhelmed with the aquarium and you know the clownfish and the corals that I have But I have corals and then we have this coral rack right here by Poseidon's Creations my boy who makes custom acrylic aquariums for the salt water even sumps too they're beautiful anyways i might put a couple of uh, frags on that you know i have to this is kind of slowly turning to my little mini reef tank i can't believe i'm saying that um now that i you know have like a system on doing water changes now with heated water and only 10 percent water change yeah i'm gonna turn it back blue okay if you guys were wanting the the intensity or the light that i'm using is a kessel a80 and i have it about a little bit more than halfway as far as the intensity goes and then the color it doesn't matter you can go blue or white i like it blue because it makes the green pop out in the corals um but yeah that's pretty much it and i'll have the light on about eight hours a day for the corals i do put food in there and the food swishes around in the aquarium and um that's where the coral will eat it'll pick up particles in the water and that's how it gets its nutrition so yeah uh this is it oh Hana, i'm excited my boys have like the ultimate nightlight in their room like this is where they sleep right here the bunk beds they got like the ultimate nightlight in the uh thumbnail i had sex change on these uh clownfish because of the fun fact of these guys which is super fascinating to me so anyways Tell me what you think down in the comments, my Ohana. Once again, I got to give a huge shout out to my boys, Jason and Jeff, over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Go check them out, my Ohana, if you're ever in Citrus Heights. All of their links will be down in the description below. Also, I got to give another huge shout out to my boy, Dennis, who's been helping me with Tiki Falls 4.0. He's the one who gave me that beautiful 10-gallon Innovative Marine saltwater tank. So, big shout out to you. Thank you so much, brother, Dennis. And speaking of Dennis, stay tuned, my Ohana. We're going to be doing another update video on Tiki Falls 4.0. Oh, now if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're new to the channel, I'll put a card up above. Click that card. It is my huge, I'm, I'm talking huge koi pond in the backyard that we're building. So I created an entire playlist about Tiki Falls 4.0, starting from the beginning, digging the hole. I've recorded the entire process so far. So go check out that video as well. Other than that, take care. I'll see you guys on the next video.
Much love and aloha.